Hey guys, happy Halloween. Welcome back to the channel. This is Deb on the web. I'm Debbie and I'm looking forward to showing you some really disturbing things that I found on the internet today. Uh, prepare yourselves. Some of them are pretty gruesome, but it's Halloween, so I figured it's this season. Uh, without further ado, let's get it going. I hope everyone is being safe. Check your candy if trick-or-treating is even still a real thing. I know we do those trunk or treat things now. It's just regular trick-or-treating. Who's with me? Comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I swear we're going to keep getting better. And it's really my goal to build a community here where everyone can feel safe. I would like it. Even though we talk about some really disturbing things, it's important to have a safe space. Just a community of people who just want to learn and see what's going on out there and build each other up. And I just think that's really important. And it's my hope that we can build to be that channel for everyone. Positivity and light all the way. And definitely do your own research. This is, of course, for entertainment purposes only. I mean, I'm dressed like Taylor Swift. So. All right, without any further hesitation, once more, here we go. Hello, Huggy Wuggy. This is a new character out right now. A character that the police department has already warned parents to monitor their children um, if they're watching this cartoon or this puppet, uh, this person in a game, because this this thing, this big blue bear with really scary teeth is telling children of all ages down to five years old to hurt their parents. Um, they're telling them to hug them to sleep permanently. Um, some people look at this as just a funny game. Some people are looking at this like, oh my gosh, this is new on YouTube. Um, this is just a, a cartoon character. This is just something that the generations has, has evolved and now this is a new character. I, I want you to think about all the other new characters. Look up Huggy Wuggy. If you don't know who this is right now and you're sitting close to a computer, it would be great if you go to Telegram because they're already posting who this is. Um, but if you if you don't, know who this is look up huggy wuggy and it's the newest thing that is with a nursery rhyme it is sing song pie piper singing to the children telling them very ugly and panic things that are like a spell that is conjuring spirits and making this demonic force in your children these that's a lot to take in I do not have children, so I'm not often privy to things that they watch. Uh, I did do a little research after I saw this clip earlier, uh, just because I kind of wanted to know what I was talking about. And I'll be honest, I still don't. Uh, there are some things that say this is Huggy Wuggy is from a video game. And honestly, it looks terrifying. He like chases you through caves and stuff. Uh, there's some stuff that talks about it being a children's cartoon so i really don't know i don't know what came first the chicken or the egg but either way it's creepy 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 uh and also be aware of what your kids are watching because there are some weird messages out there and some weird things going on so this house the first time we passed it Chase said the bottom part was not blinking, it was on, but it wasn't blinking. See how the different lights are at different intervals? The kitchen light being on. And then the fire room over there. The Why, you went to work? No one lives here. I mean, this is a really simple case of some sort of, I don't know, maybe an alarm system, or I know that I'm guilty of having Alexa set up to certain things. So you can be like, Alexa, turn on the, the living room light or whatever. And you feel really fancy, but also dumb for doing it. But maybe, I mean, maybe something's just glitching. Seems a little glitchy. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm not sure that I think it's haunted. Suspect, but not haunted. Uh, <laughs> uh, I often hear people talking about stories, usually ghost stories, that involve hearing something in the woods that they can't see and they can't place, and it moves around in the dark. Hi. 
<laughs> hi and the first thing that always comes to my mind is ravens as fables just shown you all corvid so crows rooks magpies jays ravens can imitate and they imitate much better than parrots so i often think that with uh, parrots it sounds quite robotic and you can tell it's a parrot but with ravens hi hi it just sounds the same it sounds like a person um Fable here probably has over a hundred things she can say. She'll say certain things with me all the time because that's what she likes to say. Um, but she will, when I'm not around, practice saying all sorts of things, making all sorts of noises. It could be the sound of a droplet of water, someone knocking on the door. She can talk like me, she can talk like other people. So when I hear these stories of voices in the woods um, and all sorts of creepy creatures, I can't help but think, what you're hearing is ravens. <laughs> You'll even hear then, if you rewind, that she made the sound of breath before she did her moi. I love that the raven's name is Fable. I think that's so sweet. And that woman has such a fairy tale nursery rhyme voice. I could honestly listen to her talk about ra about ravens all day. Um, I think this does possibly resolve in my mind all the weird things that you hear and you see on the internet that everyone hears voices in the woods. This really could solve so many of those questions, don't you think? birds communicating interesting that is very lifelike oh very human like of a voice that that sweet little bird has so next time you hear something in the woods i mean i'm not staying hang out and find out but maybe give yourself a little peace of mind knowing it could be a raven or a magpie This is one of the most terrifying true crime cases I've ever heard of. The scariest part of it all is this could be anyone that you know. Your dad, your husband, your friend, a relative, anybody. Before we proceed, please know that there is some disturbing content within this video. This all took place in the Channel Island of Jersey in 1957. A 29-year-old nurse was waiting for a bus station minding her own business when a man comes up behind her with this mask and attacks her. She was dragged into a field and essayed. She was severely injured and was left with incredible amounts of wounds that needed incredible amounts of stitches. The following year, a 20-year-old woman was also assaulted and attacked and brutally great. This soon became a pattern and all of the victims claimed that this man would always smell musty and would always have a face covering or some type of mask. In 1960, a small 12-year-old boy was asleep peacefully in his bed when he was awoken by this man who climbed through his bedroom window. The boy had a rope placed around his neck and was pulled outside and assaulted. As several more cases went on, this guy's name was called the Beast of Jersey. The photo behind me is a mannequin as to what he would appear to be wearing most of the time he would be doing these attacks. And I'm sorry, this is terrifying. It's giving me Leatherface vibes all the way. And I really can't believe that I don't hear more about this true crime case. The man's name was Edward John Lewis Paisnell. He was a 46 year old man. He was actually married with a daughter and two stepchildren. His wife Joan actually had a foster home and that is how she met him. And the kids actually knew him as Uncle Ted. He actually dressed up as Santa Claus every year and would give them sweets and treats and gifts, which is so fucking scary, guys, okay? In November of 1971, it took only 38 minutes for a guilty verdict to be reached on his trial. And he was also taken away to await his sentencing. He stood in the same court two weeks later and was sent to prison for 30 years. 
He was actually released from prison in 1991 for being a model prisoner. He ended up returning to Jersey very briefly where the Islanders remember his reign of terror, but he then died of a heart attack a couple years later. This is one of the scariest true crime cases I've ever heard of. And wow, those masks and outfits he used, just insane. There's a lot more to this story. You can look it up. I kind of summed it up for you guys, but I just had to share this. This was wild. Follow for all things horror. I have not looked further into this person, but I kind of want to because at first I definitely thought this was perhaps what Texas Chain Hall Saw Massacre was based off of. He's definitely giving Leatherface vibes, but I don't know. I mean, I'm curious. Do you think that face was someone's face? Because it looked like it. Oh my God, the fact that he appeared in some kid's window. I mean, how do you ever get past that? Ugh. Horrifying. All right. I think we're going to do some. Nope. Not happy stuff yet. One more creepy thing, and then we'll get to the happy. Came the moonlight. This is 20-year-old Krista Pike who became jealous of her friend, 19-year-old Colleen Slemmers, after she thought that she was trying to steal her boyfriend, Tadaryl Ship. On January 12, 1995, Krista, Tadaryl, and their friend Shadala Peterson had all lured Colleen into the woods near the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, promising her free weed. This is a video I self-recorded of the area that it's believed where the crime took place. Once they were there, Krista bashed Colleen in the head with her knee and reportedly kicked her in the face. They tortured and slapped her for almost an hour and eventually to Daryl carved a satanic writing in her chest. They sacrificed her to the devil and Krista kept a piece of her skull in her pocket as a trophy. The next day her body was found lying on top of debris and Colleen was quickly arrested after her roommates saw her reportedly dancing around the room, telling about the crime and even showed them a piece of Colleen's skull that she kept in her pocket. To really top it off, Colleen's friends later told reporters that she had zero interest into Daryl. Krista was arrested, sentenced to death, and has not shown one ounce of remorse. Currently, she is still alive, and despite her trying to escape her death sentence, recently a judge reclaimed that Krista 100% deserves to be on death row. That's horrifying. All because you think somebody's trying to steal your boyfriend. I mean, come on. It's no. Horrifying. Be careful out there. You never know who's thinking what and what's doing what. Just keep your head, as they say, on a swivel. Man. All right, let's get some happy going. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow The Sanderson misters. That's just awesome. I think they did another cool one right here. It is as white when he has white. Jump back. Twist the bones and bend the back. Here to decapitate the American mystic. Trim him of his baby. Here to decapitate the American mystic. Give him fur black as black. Just like this. <laughs> My cats did not love that playback. All right. Well, that is all I have for you guys. Unless you want to meet one of my little black cats for Halloween. Eh? Yeah? Eh? Yeah? Hold on. One sec. Right there. I need a black cat. I'm going to introduce her to the internet. This is Charlie. She's never allowed in the studio room, so she doesn't know where she is, but she's the sweetest thing. Happy Halloween, guys. Be safe out there. Trust no one. 
trust nothing, but also stay kind. Talk to you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll be back tomorrow.